Eh, bueno, después del periodo de competiciones hemos querido hacer una, unos entrenamientos con el equipo belga un poco atípicos, por así decirlo. O sea, no nos de dedicamos el foco a la competición y decidimos venir a Cataluña, que es un entorno donde podemos tener un abanico de, de experiencias, ¿no? tanto indoor como outdoor. El primer día fue una experiencia en Roca, hemos ido a Ciurana con Pachu Sobiaga, eh, anteriormente tuvimos una sesión con Pablo Escorza en la parte de movilidad y calentamiento. Posteriormente, el día siguiente, hemos venido a, a Charma Climbing en Gabá, donde hemos querido hacer un entrenamiento con el equipo, un poco a sensaciones, eh, objetivos sobre, sobre el día. Eh, luego, luego de ahí hemos ido al día siguiente a Montserrat, donde hemos compartido con Edu Marín también y posteriormente también hemos hecho una charla con él. So it's the autumn training camp of the Belgian climbing team. Uh, the season is over for every athlete, uh, even the youth team and the senior team. So it's a mixed team. We have youth, youth uh, athletes and, and senior athletes. <laughs> and so we we take this advantage of the the, the time off to work on different things we don't have time to work on during the season so for example we we enjoy the rocks and uh, here a, a little uh, work on coordination movements eh, este estos últimos días hemos buscado un día de, de descanso dedicado hacia el ocio, recreacional. Eh, paralelamente, con la actividad de kayak, este, estamos haciendo una actividad, bueno, estamos creando una actividad para el día siguiente sobre el setting y las sensaciones de escalada en detalles en monoblock. The setting session is like a training session for competitors first. Um, and the idea on the start is coordination and also uh, prospect in your mind uh, because coordination is part of mind and also sometimes some moves are risky or you have to, to decide to go. And this is this part of the timing that we, we try to, to work on. We, uh, what we decide, we propose a different uh, three type of jump, for example, type of problem. And after we, uh, we will play with all the climber and in each we have different possibility from the star uh, to arrive. And uh, we just expect that they take fun and uh, they find the level they need for each. It's what it's hard to which one can find the level and feel the move that we want to learn. Uh, we try to make like a six jump, for example. You have to to jump six times. It's not jump. It's like more like no foot uh, with a very uh, uh, speed start. And in this, the hardest is in the mind to don't try to stop on the hold, but continue and move. If you grab the hold. You, You fall. You just have to take the hole and go to the next one, and it's quite hard for the mind. And he's training to try with easy one, and after in competition, it's very important that they they feel that to go. And we have another Brazilian style. It's more like with the body. We we work on what you see uh, in general in the World Cup or expect to try something like this. La intención aquí en Monoblock es crear, eh, jugar con el deportista. Queremos que ellos aprendan que sobre los detalles hay muchas alternativas. ¿En qué me expreso? Pueden hacer eh, situaciones de coordinación, situaciones de balance, equilibrio, riesgo y todos esos pequeños detalles lo que queremos es jugar con el deportista, eh, meterlos en su nivel 
Tenemos la oportunidad de contar con grandes equipadores, tanto nacionales como internacionales, como son Loran Laporte, que es el equipador de Copa del Mundo, creador de, de marcas de escalada también, como Chita. Y también tenemos equipadores nacionales que han ha hecho también competiciones o equipar competiciones internacionales como Sergio Verdasco y también equipadores locales eh, de aquí de la zona, muy buenos, como lo que es Beto Rocasolano. It's cool because you have like the first level, second level, third level and it's very progressive. So you can learn from the beginning to the very hard level like The beginning is maybe like too easy, but the last level it's like a World Cup level, so you can learn step by step to the World Cup level. So I think it's very good, yes. Uh, I think it's different because here there is not all the mind aspect. So here everyone is relaxed and everyone can see each other to learn about each other. And in a simulation or competition, you are alone against you and the boulder. So it's a lot more uh, hard for uh, the mind aspect and uh, you have to find your own beta and everything. And here you can see and uh, see the others. So it's more here about uh, learning a specific movement. And in simulation, it's more like uh, the all the whole aspect of uh, climbing and competition. Usually during the season we work on a simulation. So for example, four boulders, four minutes climb, four minutes rest. It's very important to, to be used to this format for competition, but we don't work on specific movements or specific uh, uh, topics. And here it's exactly what we, we do. We, we work on uh, very specific movements and Uh, we take time to work on it. It's not like we have only four minutes. We have all the the day to, to work on, to to make the change who can help me or the others. And we also work together. We can see everyone. We, we learn from watching from the coaches and it's very helpful for the next season. Lo, los objetivos eh, que hemos creado, bueno, son un poco variables, ¿a qué me refiero? Variables porque se adaptan a cada deportista, pero en términos generales vamos a tener mucho énfasis en lo que es la coordinación, en lo que es la toma de decisiones, en lo que es el riesgo, en lo que es la, la armonía del cuerpo, lo que sería la, la, el momentum y también la parte de, de, de búsqueda de soluciones y adaptación. Yo creo que esto es un conjunto en general que vamos a tener eh, con los deportistas y vamos a ver que cada personaje puede adaptarse o no a ciertos tipos de, de, de objetivos. Um, I think the moves that they set are really um, the style of the future climbing. So it's really good for um, our team to improve in these things, like the coordination. And it's also from different uh, difficulties, so if you are uh, trying an uh, easier level and you, uh, are really, you can really do this easily, you can go to the next level and then you can try this until you get it and so it goes better on competition, you have like the feeling how to do it. Y para acabar la semana, eh, tenemos pensado ir a Margalef será nuestro último día y ahí vamos a escalar con Ramón. Tenemos eh, una persona que ha dado también mucho para lo que es el, 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 la competición tanto nacional como internacional y crearemos un feedback con él y posteriormente haremos una clase con Pablo Escorza sobre el bajar o volver a la recuperación de, de todo el estado.